Welcome to my studio. I'm Amy Nicole and I am so excited to be here with you today sharing the launch of my latest pattern. This pattern has been quite a while in the making. It's definitely been floating around in my head for way too long and I wanted to get it out earlier in the summer but things happened. So here she is. This is the Audi play suit. I'm wearing one. There's one here. I have another one to show you. I am so pumped to tell you guys all about this pattern today. The Audi play suit is a jumpsuit. She is pretty fitted throughout the top uh, bust, waist, and hip. There is a good amount of breezy sort of um, breathing room. It's not skin tight. In the leg it is a semi-wide straight leg and it is a cropped length. Uh, the bodice features princess seams in the front and in the back for uh, view A and C. I will get to the views in just a second. We have spaghetti straps, we have a V neckline, a scooped back uh, neckline, uh, darts in the pants and of course some slash pockets. The pockets are nice and deep and roomy. This pattern looks great in drapey fabrics, light to medium weight drapey fabrics that are opaque enough to be worn as a jumpsuit. The bodice is fully lined um, so all of the pieces for the bodice are cut four essentially. So you're making two bodices and sandwiching them together and that is how the inside of the waist gets clean finished. The hem allowance is blind stitched and it's a good um, inch and a half chunky hem to kind of really enhance that body at the bottom of the garment. View A is what I am wearing now. It is a standard style jumpsuit with a solid back. It has the princess seams in the back. Um, very sort of plain and simple if you will but screaming to be played around with in some fun fabrics. This fabric that I am wearing in this one is a tencel twill. Um, so it's super soft, very, very comfy. I wore this, I've been wearing this um, when I'm traveling, like on a long car ride or I had to fly recently and this was my airport outfit. It was so, so comfy. So I highly recommend the Tencel Twill. Do note if you make it in something like this to be sure to pre-wash. This is a view B and this is sewn up in a silk crepe de chine, which is a gorgeous fabric for this pattern. Super, super flowy and summery. And view B has this beautiful cut out back. I have it just pinned on here because this form is a little bit bigger in the bust than I am, but I'll be sure to pop up some pictures as well. And then it has just, it goes straight across at the waist and has the cutoff back there. And the view B finish waist is finished with a waist facing. It has both, all views have a center back zipper and the top portion of view B is fastened with a button and button loop. Um, super, super cute detail that I love. Although I will say that view B is not for any days when you're going to need to be rushing to the bathroom because it does take a little bit of extra work to get in and out of, but it was such a cute detail. I couldn't, I just, I had to go with it. View C is a shorts length version, perfect for summer. And View C has a overlay with a pleated peplum. Now the pattern calls for the peplum to be pleated, but if you're not into a million pleats, you can also just gather it in. And this is just overlaid completely on top of just the regular jumpsuit itself. 
and in the back there is a split back opening so you can access your zipper and this has all of the same style lines as view a and b of course pockets and it hits about here they're not super short um, not too long obviously you can play around with that as much as you want this one is super, super cute as well. The UC that you see here was actually sewn up in some cotton. This was a vintage sheet that I had, um, which works, I think the, like a little sturdier fabric works well for the shorts view because you don't really need that um, flowiness in the wide legged pants. So very, very cute style. Um, for a slightly more stiffer fabric. If you're doing the pants view, I would definitely go for something a little more flowy. If you're doing a linen, I would opt for like a washed linen that has a little bit more movement. There are so many great fabric possibilities. I love this jumpsuit in a print. As you can see, I didn't make one single solid colored one, although it would be great in a solid. I also think this would be great layered over a fitted tee or a long sleeve for the fall winter um, time as well. The jumpsuit comes in sizes zero to 32. And let me just get these measurements for you because I know I won't remember off the top of my head. So that is a, for zero, that is a 30 bust, 24 waist, 34 and a half hip up to 32, which is a 56 and a half inch bust, a 50 and a half inch waist, and a 61 inch hip. But we have a fairly inclusive size range there for you. The instructions include everything you need, all the information you need in order to make this jumpsuit. And of course, I will be having a sew along that will cover all of the nitty gritty details, especially with fitting as there are a lot of crucial fit areas for this jumpsuit to get it to fit perfectly right for you. I've been sure to include in the finished measurements not only the finished garment measurements, but the length, the crotch length, the bodice length, so that you have all of the information you need ahead of time before you even cut into your muslin to know what adjustments you possibly need to make. In the sew along, I will be covering a full bust adjustment for a princess seam, lowering the apex for a princess seam, um, doing a full tummy or full seat adjustment, as well as lengthening and shortening the rise of the um, pants portion of the jumpsuit to ensure that you get the right fit. As always, Amy Nicole patterns are drafted for folks of a height of five foot four or shorter. So if you are taller, you should anticipate needing to make any kind of a few length adjustments. My instructions are written in my usual method of a assembly line. So you're going to minimize the amount of time you're going back and forth from your sewing machine to your iron. Uh, my testers really, really love this method. And even though it is a jumpsuit, she is a pretty quick to sew together. Um, and it's so much fun to wear. I have been wearing mine nonstop all summer and I cannot wait to see all of your Audi play suits out in the wild. As always, all of my Amy Nicole patterns are named after a woman in my life who is very special and inspirational to me. And this pattern is named after my cousin, Audra, who we call Audie, who is just such a fun, spirited personality. And she is honestly one of the main reasons I even got into fashion in the first place. She is such an inspiration to me and such a joy to be around. And I feel so blessed to have her in my life. Audie, if you're watching this, I love you. And I hope that you love this jumpsuit I've created in honor of you. Thank you so much for joining me here in the studio. If you make the Audi play suit, be sure to use the hashtag Audi play suit and hashtag Amy Nicole patterns and tag me so I can see it. The Audi play suit is now available in my shop, which I will link down below. Happy sewing everyone. And thank you so much for joining me on another pattern launch adventure.